Another topic that's really um, garnered a lot of conversation is this big global survey of anti-Semitism that the Anti-Defamation League um, issued uh, just recently. And you know, a couple of really important themes. One is the prevalence of anti-Semitism. Uh, almost half of those surveys had never heard of the Holocaust. Um, so there's a lot of teeth gnashing, uh, but uh, because this is a Jewish survey, uh, <laughs> there's of course a lot of uh, pushback as well. Uh, people really uh, seriously questioning the methodology. Uh, and I, you know, I'm wondering what you all think about that. Our columnist, Jay Michelson, actually took the poll himself. Rabbi. Rabbi Jay, Jay Michelson. Michelson and found out that he article. would actually be considered an anti-Semite. Now, do you think that was you know, a kind of riff for him, or do you think there's some truth in that? I think that the whole setting is really problematic. It's mm -hmm. so important to acknowledge the Holocaust and anti-Semitism, but in, as contemporary Jews, don't we have something else to offer to the world? I think that if our only narrative to people who may never encounter Jews, I mean, people who live in countries where there aren't a strong Jewish population, is, well, you should know that we suffered. I mean, that's important, but what else does it mean to be Jewish? Mm -hmm. Like, do we have a compelling positive message that mm -hmm. why why our suffering matters, why we are important as a people. I think that as Jews we should be giving that at least equal airtime. I mean you, you're using words like we and us which imply that the Jews are a monolithic whole which you of all people know yes. is not <laughs> the case yeah. and uh, so and I think therein lies the, the thorny problems of who gets to set the agenda and I mean, who is this 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 voice of united Jewishness going out into the world? I, I mean, I th I think that the the pushback to this survey is indicative of the fact that the ADL used to be really one of those big bedrock voices of Judaism and Jews, and now the pushback that we're seeing is indicative of the fact that it does you know that there there's more going on and there, there's there are other constituencies who are bubbling up also I think a lot of people are generally xenophobic I mean maybe I don't know if 25 percent of the world are just xenophobic and mm -hmm. when they say they have negative feelings about Jews they also have negative feelings about a whole Canadians. host of it. yes Canadian I mean I was telling no, I was talking has yes. about <laughs> as, <laughs> as a Canadian, Canadian I'm very <laughs> sensitive <laughs> I was talking with someone about this uh, this poll, and they said, "Well, what about being anti-American? Maybe 25 percent of the world, or oh, more, snap. are anti-American." Yeah. I also would like to to echo what Leo was saying. I think about why are we counting how many people hate us? <laughs> like the philosophy of I'm going to count how many enemies I have is is really hard. You know, that's such point. an interesting point because. Um, you know, I often quote this to people and they just don't believe it, but uh, Robert Putnam was a brilliant uh, Harvard scholar, but his latest work is amazing. It's from, uh, there's an, a book called actually Amazing Grace, and, and it's a broad, broad um, analysis of big surveys done of um, Americans' attitudes towards religion. And guess what? We Jews in America are the most loved religious group. And I mean, it's there in black right. and white. You can see it. You know, but it's, Abe Foxman can't raise money on that. Uh, uh, well, that's it. And <laughs> I, I tell this to people, Jews and non-Jews alike, and they say, nah, it can't be. Right. But in fact, yeah, they really do love us. It's like we don't know what to do with that.